Hey, everybody. So um, you requested that I uh, walk the walk. Um, I talk the talk all the time about uh, learning to do things and um, showing how you go about doing something that is that is challenging. And so uh, I decided you requested that I learn to play this song, and uh, that's what I'm going to try to do right now. Um, so this song is uh, Wet Hands from Minecraft Volume Alpha. And uh, I think it was Ben and maybe uh, Jake who, who were said they were interested in doing this. Um, so when I start, um, when I'm trying to learn a new song like this, uh, where I don't have the music, um, I can play by ear, which means I can I can listen and kind of get an idea of what notes are being played. Um, and uh, so what I like to do first is kind of listen to the song, uh, see some of the, the things that, um, I try to find out what chords are being played at a given time, um, and start playing around with the melody. It's, it's very playful what I do when I'm trying to do this. So. Um, let's just get started. So uh, that's that's the song, and so I'm just going to talk about some of the things that I that I'm hearing here. I'm hearing a couple of main chords. One is uh, A, A major, um, and a D, and then I, I hear that at one point um, it might. I may need to listen to it again, but it goes then into kind of a G possibly. Um, so let's let's just play around with this. Uh, we start with kind of a melody that just follows an A chord like that, and then a little bit of a, a D chord. So it's not exactly that, um, but it's something close to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the beginning, and I'm going to listen to that melody in the beginning and try to see exactly where on the A chord it's uh, it's moving um, so I can try to emulate that note. So here we go. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so it's not exactly that. Um, so just doing that little part. Listen to it one more time and see if I can get it closer. So I'm noticing it's not actually doing the full walk up, so listen to that one more time. Okay, so that, that 
sounds pretty close. And then it goes to the D. Okay, so let's, let's listen to this part of the uh, D chord. doesn't actually do the full D chord, it goes um, D, F sharp, C sharp, D, and then it folds there. Closer, but not, not quite it. Okay. So that's sounding pretty good. I'm going to try to play it along with the music now and see how close uh, how close I am to it. So thinking about the, the bigger picture of the music now, it sounds it's just doing that melody two times. this for a moment because um, one thing I didn't realize when I was when I was uh, doing this a little bit earlier was um, well all of that melody right now I'm playing with both hands um, but now I'm realizing that this should really all be the left hand because there's that other melody that's coming on top of this so I need to figure out how to do that whole thing just with my left hand and come up with a way to do it. Um, so before I move on, as excited as I am to do that, uh, let me take a little bit of time to just um, play with play with that piece of it. doing this this little jump because I'm just the only reason I need to get up to these notes is for this so let's see. That I think that then goes to um, G sharp. So I'm I'm still wondering if maybe it's possible to do that other melody and not do everything with the left hand. Um, Change, change my approach for a bit. Uh, I think it might make sense instead to listen to this melody that that is higher up and see if there might be able see if it would be possible to kind of combine the two at the same time. 
So let me, let me listen to it again. Dissecting this this melody here, so it's pretty simple right now. Where it might be okay to just continue doing these notes with my right hand, and just adding in those other notes with my right hand, and so then my left hand doesn't have to do any weird jumps or turns or anything like that. So let's let's try that out. It sounds like the melody in the right hand is this. Does that? Let me listen again. try playing that with the left hand going at the same time. two um, at the same time, it might make sense to just let the left hand completely be responsible for the melody. I know that I keep going back and forth on this, um, but you know, when, when you're trying to figure something out, it's important not to commit to anything right at the beginning because it may not, um, it may not work for you. So you have to kind of experiment a little bit to, to figure out what works. Um, so I'm gonna try again um, and just do everything with the left hand and then focus on using the right hand to do that other note. that's working for me. Um, I need to know a little bit more about that right hand melody now. Then it goes higher, it does something. All right, let's listen. goes to the B, C sharp, F sharp. Um, and there's even a little bit of, uh, there's like a pause in there. So it's not just, it's. Sing those two. So listen to it one more time. Mm -hmm. 
Again, that syncopation because so. Let's see exactly where it falls, where that that, that falls. Distracted, and I'm not listening to the thing I need to listen to. One more time. So it's interesting. Interesting. It sounds like it's at the same time as hitting, hitting the F sharp one octave below. So you're hitting the F sharp here and the F sharp at the bottom as well. So. It's an interesting way to just think about it. So I have to wait to hit this until in my left hand I hit the D and then the F sharp. So let's just try it from the beginning. Um, and I'm going to try to play along with the music just to see how I'm doing so far. About this next melody, I'm just going to do this for a couple more minutes. Um, I'm just just to give myself a, a quick check in. I'm about 30 seconds into the song. It's a minute 30, so about a third of the way through. Um, so I'm just going to set a little goal and say I'm going to try to do the next little section um, of this right hand melody and call it a day, just to to. Um, have a stopping point. Now, one reason why I might stop now is what I do when I'm when I'm learning a song like this is as much as I can learn in a short amount of time. Um, when I take a break and I stop uh, and do something else, my brain is able to sort of make sense of the things that I've done. And uh, when I come back later, it's it's like my brain has sort of reorganized a little. Bit and has said, all right, here's what you remember from last time. Um, and it, sometimes I think of new ways to just kind of organize that, that information in my head as I'm playing. And there's no substitute for just taking a break. Um, and I think that's a really good analogy for all, uh, all learning. Like you do a little bit and then you stop. Um, so I'm going to listen to this next section of the of the song, and I think that's going to um, do it for today. Okay, so here we go.
Seven. I'm gonna try to play along with the music. <laughs> It's a different left hand as well. So I think, I think that's pretty good for the right hand. Um, now I'm going to listen to the left hand and see what's different there. It's now on a G chord. So it does something like it goes. So it's um, let's see if I can use the pattern from the other. So it goes. Um, thinking about the scale when you're looking at a scale, you think about one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, depending on what you have. So an A major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight is the octave. Um, and the reason that matters here is when I'm thinking about them, when I'm thinking about the, the left hand on the A, when we were doing this before, it goes one, five, eight, or one. In D, for the second part, so now I forgot. Okay, so that's the D. So in the A, it's this one, five, one, two, three, two, one. Let's see what that is in G. One, five, one, two, three. See if that's what's going on in the left hand. So it's definitely not doing that. It actually sounds more like it's doing one, three, five, one. Let's see if let's listen to it again. Makes it easier just listening to your left hand. I'm hearing it's doing, and it just waits there. So listen to one more. That's it. I think that's it. So um, let's try leading into that, and then I think we're going to call it for today. Let's try it from the beginning.
That's it. That's pretty good for, for one day. Again, I'm going to uh, call it quits for now. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll carry on next time. See you later.